Welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this hat for babies between three and six months old. Now, I made this little hat to match the little set that I showed you for baby girls between three and six months old, which includes the little coat, the baby dress, and the diaper cover. If you want to see these tutorials, just click the little lamb next to my channel name and it'll take you to my main channel page. You'll find the tutorials there. Now the little hat that we're going to make in the tutorial is for babies between three and six months old, but you can easily make it for any size, any age. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave some standard sizes for head circumference and height for your hat, so be sure to check that out. Also, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll be adding the written pattern there as soon as it's ready. Okay, let's get started. And don't forget, all of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish. Thanks for watching. Okay, to crochet this hat, I'll be using this five millimeter crochet hook. And today I'm using this Aran weight yarn. You can also use any number four yarn or 10 ply. Now the actual color that I'm going to use to make the little hat is in the color raspberry, which is the same color that I used to make the little jacket and the diaper cover. Here to begin, the first thing that we're going to make is the brim. I have seven Seven chains if you want your brim wider then go ahead and add more chains if not take away chains so here to begin on the second chain from the hook I'm going to make a single crochet single crochet into the next chain and so on until I have six single crochets that's four five six now turn chain one and we're going to repeat but make sure that you go through the back loop six single crochets that's one two three four five six turn chain one and repeat through the back loop of each single crochet make a single crochet this is how you're going to continue i'm not sure how many rows i'm going to do but continue like this and continue watching i'll let you know how many rows i'm going to do for the brim so i will meet you at the end of that row okay i finished making the brim i did a total of 54 rows now this here without stretching or anything it's measuring about 38.5 centimeters which is about 15 inches now you can make this hat for any size any age using any yarn with any hook size the important thing here is when you do your brim make sure that it's in multiples of six now down here in the information box i'm going to leave some information like uh, the head circumference and height that your hat should be so you can make this hat for any size any age make sure to check that out okay so here to continue the one we're making is for three to six months so what we're going to do here is we're going to join both sides insert your hook here through the first chain and then grab this loop here bring it through the front chain one insert your hook again through the first stitch here and through the back loop of the first single crochet grab a loop and make a slip stitch same thing into the next chain through the back loop of the next single crochet and make a slip stitch this is how we're going to join both sides so continue and i'll meet you once this part here is done to show you what we need to do next okay i finished joining both sides this is what it looks like now we're going to chain one and here what we're going to do is we're going to make two single crochets on top of each one of these rows here that you can see the little ridge here so beginning into this first row here i'm going to make two single crochets right along the very top skip this row and into the next where you see the little ridge i'm going to make two single crochets here in this row of single crochets i'm going to be left with a total of 54 single crochets which is the same number of rows that we did so this is all i'm going to do here just two single crochets all around continue and i'll meet you at the end of this row 
I'm here at the end of this first row of single crochets. I have 54 to finish. Just go on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the second row, we're going to chain one and into this same stitch here, make a single crochet, chain one, skip two and into the next single crochet, make a shell. Each one of these shells is going to consist of four double crochets. That's three, four, now chain one, skip two single crochets, and into the third, make a single crochet, chain one, skip two single crochets, and into the next, make a shell. Chain one, skip two single crochets, and into the next, make a single crochet, chain one, skip two single crochets and into the next make a shell this is all we're going to do for the rest of this second row continue and i will meet you at the end i'm here at the end of this second row here to finish i have my last shell now chain one and here on top of this first single crochet join with a slip stitch and this is how I finish this second row. Now for the third row, we're going to turn, do not chain or anything, just turn. And here we have the first shell. We have four double crochets. Into the first double crochet, make a front post slip stitch. Now chain three. Into the next double crochet, work a front post double crochet. Chain one and into these next two, make a front post double crochet. Again, we have the next shell, work two front post double crochets, chain one, two front post double crochets. And this is all we're going to do for each one of the shells. Continue and finish this third row and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this third row. To finish this row, we're going to go here where we have these three chains and into the third chain here, make a slip stitch. This is how I finish the third row. From here on, we're going to repeat these two rows, the row of shells and the row of front post double crochets. So for the fourth row, I need to do the row of shells. So we're going to chain one and turn, and into this space here, we're going to make a single crochet, chain one. Now inside each one of the shells, we're going to make shells. So make four double crochets. Now chain one and in the middle of the two shells right here, make a single crochet, chain one, and inside the next shell, make a shell. Chain one in the middle of the two shells, make a single crochet, chain one, and inside the next shell or the chain one space, make a shell. Continue like this all around for this fourth row, and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. This is where we did shells. Here at the end, I did my last one. Now chain one, and to finish, we're going to go here into this last single crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the fourth row. Now, like I said, from here on, we're going to repeat these two rows, the row of front post double crochets and this row of shells. So for the fifth row, I need to do the row of front post double crochets. So here we're going to turn don't chain or anything, just turn. We have the first shell, we have four double crochets into the first double crochet, make a front post slip stitch. Now chain three and into the next double crochet, make a front post double crochet, chain one and then two front post double crochets. Now we have the next shell, same thing, two front post double crochets chain one, two front post double crochets. And this is all we're going to do for this fifth row. Now to finish this row, remember that you go here where we have the three chains and into the third chain, you're going to join with a slip stitch. Then for the sixth row, you're going to repeat the row of shells. So you're going to chain one, turn, and then immediately into that first space, make a single crochet, chain one, and then do your row of shells. I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do here for the rest of the hat, but continue watching. I'll let you know exactly how many rows we're going to do. So I will meet you at the end of that row.
Okay, I'm almost done with the hat. I have done a total of eight rows. So from here to here, there's eight rows. That's two, four, six, eight. My last row here is the row of shells. Now it's measuring from the top of this last row to the bottom here. It's measuring about 4.75 inches, which is about 12 centimeters. Now I still have three to four centimeters left for the total height here. If you're making this hat for any other size using the measurements that I gave you, you need to start to reduce when you have about one to one one and a half inches left from the total height which is about three to four centimeters so here to start to reduce this is what we're going to do for row nine i'm going to turn here we're going to go here into the first double crochet of this first shell make a front post slip stitch now chain three and into these next three double crochets work a front post double crochet This is going to help reduce, so all I'm going to do for each shell here is four front post double crochets. And that's how we're going to continue for this ninth row. Continue all around and we'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this ninth row. Now to finish, we're just going to go here on top of the third chain and join with a slip stitch. Now for the 10th row, we're going to turn here. We're going to make three slip stitches. We have these two double crochets, so make a slip stitch on each one, and then a slip stitch in the middle of these four double crochets right here. Now we're going to chain three, and in the middle of these four double crochets, make a double crochet. jump to the next shell in the middle of these four double crochets make a double crochet in the middle of the next shell double crochet in the middle of the next double crochet and so on and here is the three chains that I did. Now to finish here we're going to go into the third chain right there and we're going to join with a slip stitch. And here's the ninth row. I have nine double crochets so now just cut your yarn and pass your yarn through this last loop here and here we're going to be left with this hole. So to close this hole we're going to use a needle here and we're going to go all around. We're going to skip one and into the next, insert your needle, skip one and into the next, and so on, all around. Okay, there, now pull. Actually, before you do that, insert your needle on the inside, and then we're going to pull here to close this hole perfect and now we're just going to go all around again just reinforce this all around to make sure that the top here doesn't open and that is all we're going to do there so now i'm going to cut the yarn here and let's see how it looks perfect that's what it looks like. Now, if you want this here to be more closed, then uh, instead of making one double crochet in the middle of the four double crochets, you can also go into this space here and make one more double crochet. That way you end up with more double crochets all around and then you do the same thing that I did here to close the top. And here's the little hat, it's all done. I'm going to go ahead and add a little pump on to my little hat and then I'll come back and show you um, how it looks on one of my little models. Okay, so here's the finished hat. This is the color that I actually used, and here's the one that I just showed you in the tutorial. I added the little pompon. It's absolutely beautiful. These pompons I purchased from Amazon. I'll go ahead and leave the link in the information box. So here's the finished hat. Now this set is all done. Here's the little coat with the little dress and the matching diaper cover. If you want to see any of these tutorials, just click the little lamb down here next to my channel name 
and it'll take you to my main channel page. You will find the tutorials there. Comment below and let me know if you want me to make a matching hat for mommy and baby. Um, I can easily make a hat like this for adults, so let me know. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.